just beating up demons. We really need your help. Okay, kid. Uh, huh? uh, is that Monkey King? King. Ah! That was awesome. I can't believe you came back to. Oh, <laughs> this is awkward. You're not Monkey King. <laughs> I get that a lot. Monkey Kid, right? <laughs> Your staff kind of gives you away, dude. Not just anyone can wield that thing. <laughs> macaque. Actually, the uh, six eared macaque is, you know, my full name. Well, see you around, MK. Uh, can you teach me that awesome thing? Uh, don't you already have a master? I thought uh, Monkey King was training you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he, he is. Um. But you can never have too many teachers, right? I'm sure Monkey King would agree. It's not like he'd want to hold you back. Um, yeah, <laughs> yes, he'd totally be cool with it. <laughs> All right, then. Not bad. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I was kind of expecting a little more from someone with your power. Hey, hey, I've got more. I can give way more than that. <sighs> I can do better. Okay, maybe show me next time. Stop holding back. Stop trying to be nice. Your first strike should be your last strike. Every time you attack, give it everything you've got. Other people are going to tell you to be patient. Patience and focus. Step into the strike. They are slowing you down. You have power inside you. Use it. Take the power and destroy. Remember, you don't use a weapon. You are a weapon. <laughs> You're ready. <sighs> ready for what? I found out where it lives. The smoke monster is actually an ancient demon. A very, very powerful one. We need to destroy it once and for all. Come on! Wait, what? Last time I couldn't even hit it. <laughs> totally. But since then, you've had me teaching you. You're stronger now. Don't you feel stronger? I guess. Remember, you're the weapon. Give it everything you've got. Here. You know, you really are a good kid. It's super nice. Thank you for giving me all of Monkey King's power. <laughs> huh? Oh, no! Can't you hold the magic staff anymore? Well, you know what that means. There really isn't anything special about you. You're just some kid with a heavy stick. <laughs> Enough! Monkey King! It's good to see you, bud. <laughs> Are you ever going to get sick of living in my shadow? It's time to give back what you stole. You are such a gem. It's gonna be so satisfying killing you with your own powers.
<laughs> Seriously? You fell for that? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Nothing personal. Kid! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Show me the real Sun Wukong! The old you would have leveled this whole mountain range to stop me! But you're scared of hurting some kid? Pathetic! We're definitely gonna have words later. But it's time for the hero stuff! Shadow play, the likes of which have never been seen. It follows the tragic tale of a legendary warrior and how those who bring light into this world inevitably bring darkness to those they hold dear. Like light, heroes bring warmth, hope, and friendship. But they also give life to the darkness. <laughs> The hero and the warrior were like the sun and the moon, their light a protective glow shining upon the world. Together there was nothing that could stop the two of them, either in the celestial realms or on Earth. As time went on, the hero attained power beyond comprehension. As the hero's light grew, so too did his shadow, and soon the warrior was cast in that shadow. In the darkness, the warrior was forgotten by the hero. The hero and the warrior were like the sun and the moon, their light a protective glow shining upon the world. As the hero's light grew, so too did his shadow. And soon, the warrior was cast in that shadow. In the darkness, the warrior was forgotten by the hero. Ah, you again. You must be my biggest fan. You are aware the play is over, right? So, um, what happened to him? The warrior? <laughs> what would you like to hear? The hero suddenly remembered his beloved friend, the warrior? That they lived happily ever after? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, maybe. Um, I kind of feel like the warrior in the story. A little. Is that dumb? I take that as a compliment, young man. Telltale sign of a good story, that you resonate with it so personally. But I think maybe you missed the point. It's like, oh. I want to be strong, and, and I'm trying to be, but it's like Monkey King isn't giving me a chance. <sighs> and what if he did? Ah! Ah, this again. <laughs> uh, if you're not going to help, just leave me alone. Ah! Whoa, bud. You been working out? You pack a bigger punch than I remember. No, 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 no. It's... it's you! Macaque! Ha <laughs> ha The one and only! So why so glum? I've noticed that lately you've been looking a little... DOWN! Ah, what are you doing here? Uh, no! I just... Unloaded all your secret insecurities on me? <laughs> I know! But hey, no shame in that, man. Sometimes he's gotta talk it out, you know? I don't really do it. Maybe I should, but we'd be here all day, so... Would you just get to the point? Slow down, kiddo. This is the thanks I get for checking in on my favorite students. I am not your student. Well, with old Monkey King not around, I thought someone should teach you a lesson. Ah, uh, MK, you really are dense, aren't you? <laughs> You saw a story about a hero who got handed everything, who didn't have to work for anything, and you thought you were the other guy? The second the hero got real power, he couldn't care less about his friends. That's you, bud. Me? I I'm not like that. Hmm. I beg to differ, kiddo. <gasps> Guys! Oh, did you just realize they were missing? Classic hero maneuver. Maybe it's just me, but these guys don't look too happy about being left in the shadow of the great monkey kid. All 
Also, side note, how did you not know it was me? Shadows? It's kind of my gimmick, isn't it? <sighs> hey, don't look at me! Focus! Ooh, this bit might hurt! <laughs> That's it! Guys! You're right. That is enough. You know, you really are just that bit too much like him. But it's good to see there's some potential. What is your deal? Why did you do that? Hmm? Oh, why'd I break the lamp? Well, I was gonna do the whole watch the hero be tormented by their own mistakes thing, but it seems like you're kind of already doing that to yourself, which honestly has been an absolute pleasure to watch. You know, I meant what I said. You really are a good kid. A good kid with a really terrible teacher. I thought you were my teacher. Oh, <laughs> ouch. It was you wasn't it? In the story, Monkey King was the hero, and the warrior was you, right? Maybe you're not as dense as you look. Something's <sighs> coming. Something you're not even close to ready for. Don't worry. <laughs> you can never have too many teachers, right? Thanks. Last show, actually. I was just heading off. So... Uh, Lady Bone Demon would like a word. Oh, and she'll be needing that. Wukong! <laughs> I thought it was someone important. <laughs> Always the comedian. <laughs> hey, kiddo. You miss me? <laughs> Ooh, looking a little banged up there, Monkey King. The kid, too. Looks like our old friend, the Lady Bone Demon, really did a number on you guys. <laughs> So what? You're her- <laughs> You know me. There's a new player in town. I'm just feeling out which one is the winning side. <laughs> Not smart, bud. Kid! Two of you are such a mess. I can't imagine why the Bone Demon wants me to bring you back. Look at you. You're all used up. Interesting. You want to get to my. Ah, you must be the dragon girl I've heard so little about. Little girl, you can shoot me all you want. It won't do you any good. Uh, what? I, I don't know. I thought it'd be cool. Just, just whatever. Whoa, <laughs> didn't see that one coming. you to slow me down. <laughs> you don't really think you can stop me, right?
city. You've been busy. When did you decide to betray me? Listen, Lady Bone Deep. Have you forgotten who I am? What, what? I am? I who returned you to the mortal plane. All in exchange for such a little favor. That when the time came, you would free me. Aid in my pursuit of equilibrium. But no, with the first breath of a new life, you rebelled against your fate. So, you want something? I offer one more chance of redemption. And perhaps you will be worthy of my And this is a compass of sorts. No matter where they flee, this will find them. Fine. Convenient. Alrighty then. Seems like they've got a bit of headway, so. <laughs> What is this? A reminder. It seems you cannot be trusted to willingly follow the path of destiny. One misstep, one failure in any way. I will erase. Now, bring them to me, my champion. Oh, nothing creepy about this at all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Don't Looks like it's just you and me now. <laughs> How did you? You really think you were going to get away from me, bud? Ow! Oh, forget you lost your powers. Careful, you might hurt yourself. What do you want? What are you doing? Come on, kiddo. Do I have to explain everything? I'm handing you over to the Lady Bone Demon. Uh, come on, fight back. Maybe I'm not giving you the right motivation. Should I bring your big blue friend in here and smack him around? What about the girl? Gold vision? Really? Enough of these baby powers. That's more like it. Why are you helping her? Lady Bone Demon, like, look, I get you're a bad guy, but you know she wants to destroy everything, right? Yeah, see, I've had a taste of dying, and you know what? Not a big fan. So, I'm choosing to be on the winning side. She's using you! <laughs> you can't even stop me! No. First, I deliver you, then I'll come back for your has-been master, and finally, I've repaid my debt and be free of this nightmare. Anyway, I assume you won't be coming quietly, so... Okay, the girl's more powerful than I thought. Interesting. And you! You kidnapped us in a copy of our own band! That's super gross! <laughs> the lady asked me to bring MK. She didn't say anything about you two. anymore your powers are gone your staff's gone you're nothing what was that now I couldn't quite hear you I am okay. he did it.
Get off! <laughs> it still has power. Good. Everything just got a lot more interesting. The Samadhi fire, huh? So that's how you're gonna beat the Lady Bone Demon. One misstep, one failure in any way. I will erase the very memory of you. We'll see about that. Huh? Uh oh! <laughs> you have more guts than I thought. It's, uh, Tang, right? You know, it's funny. I thought he's smart. I mean, look at the guy, he's got glasses. If anyone knows where the legendary Samadhi fire is, it's the guy sitting in the wings while his friends are busy having fun without him. Stop! The Samadhi fire is humanity's last chance to defeat the Lady Bo Demon! Well, humanity's just gonna have to find something else. The Samadhi Fire is my best chance of getting as far away from her as possible. <laughs> Together? Remind me again exactly what it is you contribute to the team. They seem to get on just fine without you. Don't take it personally, Tang. Your buddy Wukong values people by how useful they are to him. Take it from me as an expert on what happens when you get too close to the king. Look out for number one, because if you don't, no one will. You're wrong. I know I'm not as strong as they are. I made that my place is alongside my friends. Huh? One day, I will become someone they can depend on. The way that I can always depend on them. You were tasked. You were to retrieve the Monkey King and his protege. Yet you refused the path of destiny, and so there will be pain. No! They have a weapon! They have the Samadhi fire! Really? Fire to me. I will grant you my aid, my power in this final trial. But make haste. Or I will leave nothing left of you. Is that... Macaque? No! Hmm. What? You got what you wanted, didn't you? You're not gonna glow? Monologue a little bit before scurrying off to your master? Go on! The Lady Bone Demon is waiting. I couldn't care less about what the Lady Bone Demon wants. So, the real rings are with MK. <laughs> Perfect. The ritual? They've started the ritual! Sun Wukong, what have you done? I told them to wait! Stop! If you hurt that kid, I'll... What? Make things worse for MK? Stop! I have a plan! Don't get in my way, kid! I don't have time for you! I'm just here for the Samadhi fire, then I'm done with you all! This was the Monkey King's great plan? How do you still not see that he has no idea what he's doing? How about this for a plan? Stay down, MK, or I will put you down. Damn. Not another move. I'll give you two options. 
Option A, I take the Samadhi fire. You do exactly what I say, and I don't have to do anything you'll regret. Or, option B, I cut you all down. Starting with the girl. Tang, do what I'm telling you to do. Your friend's life depends on it. Finish the ritual. All right. Finish the ritual! All right! Plan to defeat the Lady Bone Demon. I know a guy who might be able to help. She didn't look so hot last time I saw her. Nuh uh. You're in timeout, so you don't get to chime in. Sandy, spit him. Um, sorry, <laughs> Mr. McQuack. Come on, kid. You must have seen it. She might be stronger than ever, but she's spread too thin. The mech, the crystal, and now Monkey King? I bet you anything that keeping him suppressed is using every ounce of strength she's got. Fight monkey with monkey. This monkey. Look, I brought you the Lady Bone Demon's lapdog, but I'm not up for being a hero, kid. We don't need you to beat him. We just gotta keep him busy. As long as he's under her control, the mech's vulnerable. We can do this. You can do this. Nice speech, kid, but it's not gonna- mm, Stop! You keep playing at being this bad guy, acting like you're just in it for you. But I know, deep, deep down, you're not that guy. Help us. Make it right. I'm not a hero, bud. Then be a warrior. <laughs> okay, kid. You win. <gasps> what can I say? I'm dramatic. No, it's not. Bone Demon's keeping it at the top of the tower, but I don't really see how a stick is going to be of any help. Oh, that's easy! Come on, kid, let's go! <laughs> the opposite, actually. Kind of on this whole living streak right now, so we were hoping maybe you could call off this whole end of the world thing. Would really help us out. Huh. Yeah, what he said. Destiny. Yeah, I thought as much. MK, now! <laughs> All right, MK. I hope that staff is worth it. <laughs> Cast aside your stubborn. 
stubbornness and face your demise with honor. I can still feel her crawling under my skin. I'm glad you're back. Uh, guys, now that Wukong's not under her control... Oh, no! Predictably, I... The dragon girl will not give me the subject. <laughs> If you had never found that staff, none of this would have been possible. A delivery boy to the... <sighs> Darkness, but to let the light shine, all we need to do is stand together! <laughs> you were done with that, right? Well, actually, I... He was saving that for me, because you know, I'm his mentor. Still the same Wukong, doing whatever he wants with no regard for others. Mm, yeah, no, I'll keep that in mind next time you scheme with the enemy and almost get us all D.E.D. -E uh, you know you two are the same, right? I'm not like, like him. him! Hey, where do you think you're going? Don't know. Somewhere where I can do a bit of scheming, probably. See you around, MK. Redemption. <laughs> the power's of living his <laughs> foolishness. You dare insult me, you old cad. <laughs> Wukong, we're to believe you gave the Jade Emperor such lip. <laughs> You're really going through with this? Correction! We're really going through with this, like always. Monkey bros getting into some cheeky mischief. <laughs> Look, Wukong, I get you're excited. I do, but crossing the Jade Emperor is gonna have consequences, and you're not listening. <sighs> you always hmm? were the most cowardly of the bunch, Macaque. Indeed. The Jade Emperor and his followers have lorded long enough with no regard for those they rule. No, the best man... <laughs> Azure would look perfect on the throne. An ideal figurehead, indeed. <laughs> I'm flattered, truly, but were it not for Sun Wukong, I could think of none other more suitable to lead us on our conquest. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Relax, bud. When this is over, we'll be back here basking in the sun, getting fat on fruit for the rest of, well, forever, like we always wanted. <laughs> Whatever you say, Wukong. Stone Monkey is unpredictable. Now he's thrown his lot in with the Celestial Host, there is no telling where his true allegiances lie. You're characteristically quiet, macaque. I just think we should consider all our options before we- And what say you? Your host stood against us, lost. Our cause destroyed and our king- Oh, he was doing his usual Wukong thing and being a lazy peach-eating idiot. Ignoring all the world's problems. Mess with me? Go for it, guy. I don't care anymore. You know, it's no fun when you say it out loud. Messed up, by the way. That's new. Come on, misery kid. I got something to show you. Yo, how's it going? It's me, Macaque. Or rather, the six-eared Macaque is, you know, my full name. <laughs> uh, what am I looking at right now? On your journey. See that it's the choices you make that determine who you are. I know your latest discovery has thrown you for a loop. Between that and Azure and the Lady Bone Demon trying to get inside your head, uh, you know what? Just play the game. That'll teach you everything you need to know for once. Besides, I put a lot of work into this. Oh, yeah, no, I can definitely. Oh, no. Some disgusting, horrible demon is attempting to steal this poor maiden. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna rescue the fair maiden. Remind me how this game is supposed to convince me I'm not destined to turn into an evil demon monkey thing again? Because every option I pick... Hey, you're finally getting it. No matter what options it's giving you, you're always gonna end up in the same spot. Oh, thanks, macaque. Congrats. You went to more effort than usual to make me feel like dirty dirt dirt. Good job. Round of applause. 
All right, misery kid. You were supposed to realize by now that the choices the game's giving you aren't the only choices you've got. Life isn't some pre-written thing like a video game where you have to do what the tutorial says. Okay, well, kind of a weird convoluted way to make a point, don't you think? Whatever. Point is, it's time to start making your own choices. Something I wish I'd learned a lot sooner than I did. You don't want to fight Azure because people might get hurt. You don't want to not fight him because people might get hurt. So do something else. Only you get to decide who you are, kiddo. Huh? <laughs> we have to try. He'd do the same for any of us. Ugh, can't believe I'm sticking my neck up for Wukong again. What? You're coming too? Nah, if he's lost in broken memories from his past, then who better to tag along than someone who was there for some of it? And besides, your knowledge of the journey to the West seems pretty selective. <laughs> you know what? Your criticism is harsh but fair. All right, let go. <laughs> What have you done? Monkey King did this? It looks like he's been tearing his way through his past. Trying to find his way to... Me. We need to find him. Fast. Hmm. Oh, there he is. That ain't him. That's just a memory. And a pretty broken one, too. Duh. I really wish they'd used magic tape. I'll know the real Wukong when we find him. I can smell him a mile away. All right. Let's get moving. What you trying to tell us, little guy? Kid, come on, we got <laughs> I think that! All right then. You ready to become king of the monkeys? What? Because when Monkey King jumped through the waterfall, he became... Mm. <sighs> you really should read the book, kid. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> these little guys are in here? I don't know, Barrel's worth? <laughs> Look! I am the Monkey King! I'm speaking human! Don't you like it? <laughs> Just another memory, bud. I am the Monkey King! I'm speaking human! <laughs> <laughs> this is like chapter one, kid. Again, really gotta read the book. <laughs> Macaque! Uh -huh. You doing okay, bud? <gasps> bud? <laughs> Welcome back, your majesty. Ah, don't be like that. Eat some fruit, soak up the sun. That's why I've been training so hard. What, so you can be the strongest? No! Well, maybe a little bit. But that's not the point. It's so we don't have to worry about anything or anyone ever again. Just live a lazy life sitting in the sun, eating fruit, and doing whatever we want. Sounds pretty good, huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Quit it. Eat your dang peach. Mm, you're a peach. Why didn't he just stop right here? He was already so much stronger than anyone ever needed to be. Wukong didn't think so. He always felt he had to be stronger, more immortal. He was so terrified of mortality, he went so far as to take his name out of the Book of the Dead. But even that wasn't enough. Yo, hey bud, I got you a little something. What? For me? You're not serious. That whole peach is for me? But you shouldn't have. Okay, you don't have to be so you about it. No, no. Honestly, this is exactly what I need right now. I'm trapped under a mountain, but the six-eared macaque brought me a peach. Hooray. I know I'd help if I could. Oh, sure, because normally you just rush to my rescue. Yeah. It was great seeing you, bud. Just run off like you always do. No, that's you! 
You're the one who's always running off, looking for more power or sources of immortality. You're the one who wouldn't quit while we were ahead. Not the great sage. He's got to drag everyone else into his mess. You're not in this mess. You're still free. Everything I did was for us. You did it for yourself. You've become like this obsessive demon. I told you going against the Jade Emperor was a bad idea. But no, Wukong doesn't listen to anyone. He just does whatever he wants. You put yourself here, not me. Fine, Lee! I don't want to see your face here again, you big... Ah. I really wanted that peach. So, Monkey King really was a bad guy? That's what I believed. What Azure would have you believe. Then, he met him. The monk. Wu Kong was on a path of self-destruction. We all were. But when he met the monk, it sent him down a different path. Every choice has consequences, kid. For someone. Okay, come on, man. What happened between you two? For realsies. <sighs> Seriously? Come on, man, I need answers! Whoa. This is Azure's utopia, and this wasteland is the price he paid to build it. He stole the energy he needed from everything around it. I thought he wanted to help people. He said he wanted to be the hero. I'm sure he does. Everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story. Azure's always been good at convincing people he's the good guy. He's even fooled himself. It's him. You found me. I just wanted to protect the people I cared about. To be strong enough. I lost sight of why I was doing any of it. I know I've made a few lifetimes worth of mistakes, but living them over and over again like this, I... Well, me something that I thought was just a, a weird Monkey King thing, but you were right. We can deal with whatever comes next. Monkey King, Azure needs to be stopped, but we need you to be the Monkey King. Let me help with that. You gotta have it this tight, otherwise it I got it! Just checking, just checking, jeez. Ah, oh, just think. We're all gonna be so many times immortal soon. Azure won't admit it, but he has a thirst for revenge. Truth is, he's gonna be on Wukong like a bad smell. Like Wukong doesn't stink bad enough already. Azure doesn't stand a chance. <sighs> Wukong, he has the scroll of memory. With it, he defeated the combined armies of heaven. So long as Azure has the scroll in his grasp, we don't stand a chance. What if we get it out of his grasp? Yeah, sure. If we can do that impossible thing, yeah. Ah! Great! I've been alive a long I fought along. You may not believe it. So we all know I'm the greatest teacher in all of history. <sighs> this guy. But my plan making is the worst. Okay, hurtful. You're up, kiddo. What? Break into the celestial realm again using Sandy's awesome new will keep him distracted. While A team and B team keep Yellow Tusk and Pang busy. I'm just curious, but uh, which one is the B team in this scenario? If you have to ask, you're probably on team B. Uh, what if? They're coming! Get down! I warned you. But here you stand, preparing for treason against your new emperor. The six-haired macaque, fighting side by side with his own replacements. Is there anything Wukong could do that would break his hold over you? Stop it! You know what, Peng? Straight up, I have never liked you. Brat! Give it a rest, would ya? Every 
time we've gone into a final fight, we've A team and B team. We'll keep. What was that? <laughs> Look. Hey! Hmm? Let them go. After all, you always were the most cowardly of the bunch. <sighs> all right. We should regroup with the others. Way ahead of you. Blocking out the sun there. Ugh, it's you. Cute. Thanks for the invite, by the way. And thanks for showing up, even though you were not invited. <laughs> you know this is the calm before the storm, right? Yeah, I know. But that can be a tomorrow problem. Whatever they're scheming, we can handle it. <laughs> 